Hey everybody, what's up from Pokemon Classics, reminding you that the classics never go out of style. I'm finally back from Card Party, and what an amazing weekend that was. I'll have a full video recapping the experience for you all in just a few days, but this is long overdue. This is the auctions of the week, continuing the series that was originally started by Top 10 Pokemon. He's an absolute legend, and I figured I'd continue in his footsteps while he's taking a break. But there were so many great auction highlights this week to recap, so I don't want to take up too much time rambling. Let's just dive into it. First, we'll start with some vintage, beginning with this first edition PSA 10 Red Cheeks Pikachu from Bay Set. Now this one has a noticeable premium over the yellow cheeks, the red cheeks here selling for $3,175, but I also found an auction for the yellow cheeks version, and this one just barely crossed the $1,000 mark, so that's a pretty heavy premium for those red cheeks. Now speaking of big premium, the PSA 10 First Edition Bulbasaur from Bayset was a meme years ago when it was described as being worth $30,000, and it never actually reached that peak. I think there was a private sale out there though for about $15,000. Nevertheless, this card crashed hard back down to $1,625 at auction. We also saw the big three come through in PSA 10 First Edition form, and the Charizard sold for $170,800 which is pretty low comparatively to some of the recent sales. The Blastoise in PSA 10 was $21,960. Then bringing up the rear here, but not by too much, is the Venusaur, which sold for $15,860. Now one more first edition base set card I've been keeping an eye on is the PSA 9 Charizard. This one has a bit more sales, so there's a easier market to track. And lately they've been on the upswing. This one's selling for $24,400, which is a pretty good price in the current market. Like I said, these have been down for a while and recently have been ticking up above the $20,000 mark. From there, we've got a couple jungle cards in PSA 10, beginning with the Jolteon, my personal favorite of the Eeveelutions from Jungle. This one sold for $2,100. We also have the Pidgeot, which sold for $1,740. And uh, both these cards are pretty hard to grade. We also saw some cards come through from the gym sets in PSA 10. The Brock is one of the lowest population cards. This is an old label on this one, selling for $1,200. A couple other gym leaders, we've got Lieutenant Surge selling for $492. This one is also pretty hard to grade, so pretty good price, I think, for whoever picked up that one. Then we have the Misty, also selling for $492. From Gym Challenge, we've got the Koga's Beedrill, and this is one of the lower population cards as well. And this one, I think, was an absolute steal at $588. We also have Blaine's Charizard, everybody's favorite card from the set. Well, maybe not everybody's favorite. I think I like the Blaine's Arcanine a little bit more, but that's just me. Anyway, the Charizard sold for $3,360. And then one more Gym Challenge card that I wanted to highlight is the Rocket Zapdos, a very playable card. This one sold from TCA Gaming for $621. Now this card is a big one, and this one has also fallen very significantly from its pandemic highs. But we have the Lugia PSA 10 from Neo Genesis. This is the first edition one. This card was previously selling for over $100,000 at its peak, and now has sold for $28,200. It's a very low population card, very difficult to get, and uh, it's a tough one to grade too. Next, we've got a Gengar from the Expedition set. This is one of the E-Series cards, selling for $405. Gengar, very popular card out there, and this is a really cool artwork. We also have a couple of cards from the Team Rocket Return set, beginning with this PSA 9 Snorlax for $650, and then we also have the Articuno, which sold for $855, this time in a PSA 10. I absolutely love this set. There's also been talk out there of a new Team Rocket set coming down the pipeline, something that a lot of people are looking forward to. And we'll hopefully, hopefully, at least from my perspective, I really want to see those hollow borders make a comeback. We've also got a Gold Star Charizard in PSA 9, and this one sold for $3,960. And then to wrap it up for our vintage portion, we've got the Gold Star Torchic, which is the lowest population, most difficult Gold Star to grade. This one's selling for $38,400. Pretty sizable chunk of change for anybody looking to complete that Gold Star set in PSA 10 condition. All right, now we have something for all of you modern card collectors out there. And although some of these cards have taken a pretty big hit in recent weeks, I'd say overall, they're still doing very strong. In fact, we'll start out with a card that I know a lot of people like, and that's the Gengar and Mimic U tag team card from Team Up in PSA 10 condition. This one's selling for $755, and I think this is a really cool game mechanic from this, this era of Pokemon. Next, we have something a little more recent, and that's from the 
151 collection. This is the Charizard uh, special illustration rare, selling for $336 in a PSA 10 condition. Again, I think that's a cool card as well since you have all three stages of the evolution, uh, ascending from the canyon in the artwork. Next, we have another Charizard, and this one is from the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection. This is the Metal Charizard in PSA 10 condition. For a while, they stopped grading these, and they're very difficult to grade as well, so earning a premium of $1,525. We've got another team up card. This time, it's the Latias and Latios GX. And uh, this is another one that I know is really popular out there. Together, they make the heart and the artwork. Uh, kind of a Valentine's Day card, if you ask me. This one's selling for a little bit over $2,000. And uh, I think that's a pretty good price on that card. Next up, we have a few of the uh, more notable uh, alt art cards, beginning with the Giratina V. And this one is from Lost Origins and PSA 10 sold for $740. And as you'll notice, looking at the graph, that's d dipping down quite a bit from its all time high, which was peaking around $1,000. Next up, we've got the Gengar VMAX alternate art from Fusion Strike. This one's selling for $570, which once again, we're seeing a pretty big pullback from its all-time high of about $800. Now, the one out there that I think a lot of people uh, know the best is the Moonbryon, or the Umbreon VMAX from Evolving Skies, and this one sold for just over $1,200, and that's been the trend for this card as well, is a bit of a pullback from its all-time high of almost $1,600. Now, we also have the other Umbreon from Evolving Skies, really cool artwork in this one, Personally, I like this one a little bit more. You've got the pincer in the foreground with Umbreon looking over all of its minions. Uh, but this one's selling for $316 in a PSA 10. Now, my personal favorite artwork in all of modern, probably all of modern, I would say, is the Lugia V alt art from Silver Tempest. And in a PSA 10, this one recently sold for $355. And then there's a bit of a premium here as we go to the CGC 10 Pristine which is almost double the price at $610. And then if that's not enough premium for this card, we could level it up one more with a BGS 10 black label. Very difficult card to achieve to grade uh, in that black label, selling for $5,100. So just showcasing what kind of premium you could get uh, with some of these different grading companies. Next, we'll feature some of the highlights of the Japanese card auctions of the week, beginning with this Sabrina's Gengar. Now, this is one of the band artworks in English due to the tombstones and the graveyard in the background, but this one sold for $456 in a PSA 10. Now, a card we were robbed of from the English fossil set was the Mew card, one of the hollows, and this one, PSA 10, sold for $410. Now, we would eventually get this card released as a promo in English, but for anyone looking to complete the 151 original Pokemon just from base set, and jungle set and fossil set, unable to do so without the promo version of this card. Next up, we have another card that we were deprived of in English, and that's the Shining Mew. Now the Shining Mew in PSA 10 condition sold for $3,550, and it's a beautiful card. I really wish we had this one in English. One more Mew on the list in Japanese is the Gold Star Mew. This one is very difficult to acquire. We've got a PSA 10 copy here selling for $10,991. Now we also have a few Charizards to feature, starting with this base set Charizard in PSA 10 condition. This one does have the rarity stamp, the no rarity version is worth much more, but this one sold for $3,900. We also have the Gym Challenge Charizard, the Blaine's Charizard, in PSA 10 condition, selling for $386. Another Charizard here, this is a big one, is the Gold Star Charizard in PSA 10 condition, selling for $10,600. Now, one of the cards that I think is really cool on this list today is in Japanese, the 151 uh, set had a Master Ball card with a little Master Ball reverse hollow. You get one per box, something we didn't get in English, unfortunately, but the Pikachu is one of the more desirable ones. And this one sold for $543 in a CGC 10 pristine condition. So a really cool card there. One of my favorite of all the modern artworks is the Test Tube Mewtwo. And uh, some people call this card the Mewtube. Uh, with good reason. This one in a PSA 10 Japanese sold for $605. It really is a gorgeous card. Finally on this list is one that's maybe a bit of a misnomer because it's Japanese, but it's also English. It's the Bilingual Executor card. And uh, this is the original one, not the reprint one that we saw in the, uh, what was it, the Celebration set. This one was a PSA 6. Not the greatest quality condition, but this one came from the Tropical Mega Battle, so a lot of history around this card, selling for $7,930. Cool card. 
Next up, we have some sealed products as well, some other oddities that sold at auction this week, beginning with this box of four Charizard UPCs selling for $481, or just a little over $120 each. Now, we also had a box of Evolutions from 2016 sell for $793, and one of the things that I think is interesting here is that Evolving Skies is quickly catching up in price point. In fact, we had this full sealed case of Evolving Skies sell for $4,200, which comes out to $700 per box, Again, pretty close to that price point for Evolutions. Another interesting one that we came across was this edition of four Times magazines that were all graded by CGC. And I think these are really cool. I want to get these as a display piece for my office area here. But uh, since these magazines are not that expensive individually, seeing the premium placed on them graded is pretty surprising at $415 simply for four recent magazines. Now, another one that I thought was really cool is we have this Southern Islands complete set that comes with the binder, comes with some extras, and all the cards were graded in PSA 9 or PSA 10 condition. And this sold for $810. So it's one of the really cool little mini sets that uh, Wizards of the Coast released, and uh, it's something that I'm looking to collect here in the future. In terms of some Wizards of the Coast boxes, we've got a base set box selling for $13,725 this week. We also had a first edition fossil box sell for $12,322 this week. And that does seem to be up a little bit from where it bottomed out around the $10,000 mark uh, not too long ago. There's also a Team Rocket first edition booster box that sold for $12,600. Now one more that was a bit surprising to me is, I haven't seen this one come up very often, but a Sandstorm EX box sold for $9,455. I'm not really too sure on the market value of the individual packs or the chase cards in this set, but I would expect since this is one of the lower print run sets out there from the early series of Pokemon, that it would have commanded a bigger premium than that. So I don't know, kind of an interesting price point there. Uh, one of the things that the market has been reacting to is Japanese uh, boxes of 151 have been tanking in the last few months uh, due to a lot of reprints coming out of Japan. And right now you can get an entire sealed case of Japanese boxes this one sold for $890. Finally, I'm not really sure if this counts as a sealed product or a set or an oddity, but we have a complete set of Shadowless PSA Mint 9 uh, cards from base set, including both the Red Cheeks and the Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. So it's all 103 cards, and this one sold for $12,201. And I think that's a pretty good value, personally. Finally, we'll take a look at some of the highlights of the different promo cards that sold this week, starting with an absolute classic, and that's the Ancient Mew card. This is a beautiful card and very original with its artwork. Uh, this one sold for $304 as a PSA 10. Next up, something a little more recent is from 2021, the Stamp promo cards in PSA 10. This set collectively sold for $482 for the pair. Then we've got a special delivery Pikachu. Love this card, Pikachu's got all of his mail delivery gear on. This one sold for $485 as a PSA 10. Now there are a couple more Pikachus on this list, and the next one is the 2018 Scream Pikachu. And this one is really cool. It's got the throwback reference to the Scream artwork by Edward Munch. And this one in PSA 10 sold for $2,375. I can't believe this card's already six years old. Like, it seems like just yesterday for me. Now another Pikachu on this list is the Japanese Birthday Pikachu. And whether it's the Japanese version or the English version, in PSA 10 this card commands a premium. Very difficult to grade. Uh, this one sold for $6,100. Next up we have the Eevee Fan Club promo, and this one is another Gem Mint 10 grade, selling for just under $11,000 at $10,980. Now I thought it would be appropriate to follow up the Eevee, with the three original Evolutions, And so we've got the Vaporeon VMAX and Gem Mint 10 grade, selling for $3,250. Next, we have the Flareon, also in Gem Mint grade. This one sold for a little bit less at $3,050, but by far the best illustration, in my humble opinion, goes to the Jolteon, just frolicking through the lightning storm. And this one sold for $4,250. So apparently, the market agrees with me on these artworks. All right, to close out this video and to commemorate top 10 Pokemon for this series, we will award the auction of the week to this collection of graded cards. Now it's listed as over 150 first edition graded cards from a variety of grading companies and 192 cards in total. And this seemed like an absolute steal to me. You've got almost a complete first edition base set, hollow set, same with jungle and fossil. And many of these are in PSA 9 grade. So whoever bought this, I feel like got an absolute steal some of these cards are very desirable, very collectible, and highly liquid. And I think if somebody were to break down this set and sell these cards individually, 
there'd be a lot of profit to be made. But I haven't gone through all the numbers or statistical analysis yet. But still, just even browsing through these, some absolute fire here. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this week's Auctions of the Week. If you have any feedback for me, if there's any auctions I missed or big sales out there, let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, I'm Pokemon Classics, reminding you all that the classics never go out of style. Stay well, everyone. Have fun. And don't forget to enjoy collecting. That's what we're all here for. We'll see you all with the next video. Bye, everybody.